Hi Libra, this is going to be your love and life message for the beginning of August. Happy August, you guys. So as always, keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone that watches. Things could be opposite and roles could be reversed as well. All that jazz, right, you guys? Right. Uh, if you're new, welcome to my channel. This is Soma Chandra Libra. This is a channel exclusively dedicated to Libra and the sign of Sagittarius. So subscribe and hit the bell if you have those placements and you'd like messages for those two signs and uh, uh, hit the bell so you know when I read for you here. I'll read for you here frequently, Libra and Sag, if you're cross-watching. If you want to see readings for all 12 zodiac signs, hop on over to my other channel called Soma Chandra Tarot. I did do an oracle message for you on Soma Chandra Tarot over the weekend. Link to the website for private readings is down in the description below. Okay, Soma Chandra Libra, your guides wanted me to um, switch it up a little bit and do you versus them with some deeper clarifications more oracle messages of advice at this time. I also heard one of your guides uh, tell me two things as I was getting into your energy. One, check your Mars placement this week. Watch readings for your Mars placement. I'm hearing Mars and then anyone that has Pisces in a big planet, you need to check that out as well. Like the transpersonal planets. If you have Pisces and like Uranus or Jupiter, that's important right now. Um, but even if you don't have Pisces and a bigger outer planet, watch readings for your Jupiter and um, your Uranus placement. I feel like things are, are expanding and changing for you. And I think the Mars energy came out because some of you have had a lot of aggression lately. You've had to be in like warrior mode. I'm hearing that some of you kind of got stuck in survival or war warrior mode. There was an overactivity, like a bloom of Mars energy for you. And if you need help calming it down, watching advice and oracle readings and tarot about your Mars placement, placement might help. Conversely, some of you, especially if you have one of the more passive Mars placements, like if you have a Mars in Libra or you have a Mars in Virgo or Pisces, um, those are more passive and you may be struggling to be more aggressive when you need to be. Yeah, so there's like a weirdo balance or imbalance of energy in Mars and you need to check your bigger placements, your bigger planetary placements. I was like, oh, that's all very astrological. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> they wanted me to tell you guys that. Also, I heard something about someone's air conditioning breaking. I'm really sorry about that. Hope it's not mine. So moving into this week with relationships, you have to have faith. There's some things that you need to accept. Have faith, accept things as they are right now. Boundaries are going to be very important and a purification is taking place for you or perhaps the person in your energy. A refuge. Okay. Some of you in August um, maybe want to really purify your space. Some of you may be protecting your home as well. I'm seeing like saging, um, but it's a time of purification. It's a time of taking refuge. Boundaries are a thing. Um, you can't push a situation anymore. Like you just have to accept uh, certain things for uh, as they are right now, but have faith. You have, you're being asked to have faith. What came out of the Cosmic Insight deck for you is someone else. Someone else is in the middle. Someone else is trying to sabotage something. We also have Spy. Someone's got their eye on you. They're doing research and a fire sign might be involved. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gold Digger is at the bottom of the deck and Cycles. So a fire sign might be involved somehow. There is someone sort of in the way. I do have a Queen of Pentacles sitting here smack dab in the middle of everything. That might be someone that's the gold digger. Um, <laughs> that sounds terrible to earth signs. They're not earth. They're, earth signs aren't gold diggers. They create abundance for us. Um, but that could be the problem. But there is some interference happening here. Someone is, I'm hearing they're not necessarily spying on you. They're spying on other people. They're, they're just uh, hmm, something. They, they don't need as much information as they think they do. And someone, um, they want your money. You might be being used. You might quite literally being, be being used. Maybe the person in your energy is being used. There is a gold digger around you. Maybe a fire sign. 
might be this queen of pentacles that's showing up as what's in between you and someone else things they want you to surrender to this week to help you i mean the boundaries card is a good one the acceptance card and have faith those are your messages of like love and support and advice from spirit but what you can surrender to is first of all surrender obsessive thinking and surrender drama those two came out one after the other very quickly so stop overthinking a person or a situation or a dilemma if you can just let it go this week just accept some things and try to let some things go it'll actually make it easier for you to get clear on solutions like think overthinking it won't bring the solution yeah so just turn the dilemma over to spirit there's drama that you need to separate yourself from stay in your lane especially if the other lane just looks like a shit show like just stay in the fast lane and buy and bypass it i also think this is advice that someone else needs as well also surrender your desire to control people and surrender the idea to fix someone libra maybe this person needs to stop trying to control and fix this is a problem for either you or your person I'm hearing for some of you, this is very much the energy of someone around you. Like they've been overthinking something. They've been trying to come in and people please and fix and be in charge of everything. Someone has been. I'm hearing that they had either you or this person had very good intentions, but that that's not helping the situation. Everybody's a grown up here. You don't want to parent each other in relationships. It's just adding to drama. Mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe this Queen of Pentacles in the middle of everything thinks she can fix and control. And that might be the drama. Like, that's not helping clear up drama. Like, forcing people to be who you think they should be. <clears throat> like, I'm hearing release your expectations of people. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, sorry, I'm a little discombobulated here because your guide said you versus them clarify each of the main cards with three cards each. Your overall energy, Libra, is the Seven of Swords, <laughs> but the way you're feeling, I think you're feeling crafty, sneaky, and tricky. I also think you feel like you need to tread really lightly. You do look a little worried. I think you feel like you can't be yourself 100% in this scenario, but the way you're feeling about someone is the Three of Pentacles. You're trying to work something out. Your action is the star, Aquarius. You have hope, a ray of hope, but Aquarius is chaotic. So, and I do have the tower here. I'm like, well now. So radical shifts happening in the beginning of August. The person in your energy is the nine of cups. They are happy about something this week. The way they're feeling is the knight of wands. They're also very excited and passionate. And their action towards you is the two of cups. They want to talk to you. But what's between the two of you? Two cards came out, the queen of pentacles and the two of pentacles. Who's that? Something needs to be done about what's her face. And the final outcome is the Ten of Wands. So almost finished a very heavy cycle. And like at the end, like it's gonna, there's just a lot of like a little bit more effort needs to be put in here with the Ten of Wands. It's like almost done, but God damn, is it a lot. Also, someone might be a little overwhelmed. I always feel like he's saying, you can't see me. You can't see me. Nobody can see me. We can see you. Why don't you ask for some help, whoever you are? So it's like a, a bit much. I feel like you and someone else are trying to come together. The Ace of Cups is here at the bottom of the deck. Yes, this beautiful invitation of love. There has been pain, but the two of you are being brought together through the pain. Wow. And I do have a Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of my clarification deck. And I just had a little get a little information up front about her. I have cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Also, girl with a snake, empath and narcissistic paradigm being charmed and used, enabling and boundaries and not enough, frustrated in a relationship and lacking confidence. This person self-sabotages. She has fear and ego issues and jealousy. Dang, this girl's got problems and... It actually, I think, kind of makes her a femme fatale from time to time. This is a person who's like struggling in some way, whoever the Queen of Pentacles is. That could also be an aspect of you, Libra. Like any of you that have Earth in your chart, I'm picking up in particular Taurus or Virgo energy. 
Your Achilles heel might be that you feel like you have to take care of everyone financially or you have to play it safe and maybe your relationship with money needs to change a little bit. Um, watch out for your own ego or a wounded inner child and low self-esteem issues. Like those are outdated things about yourself that you need to let go of. That's like a shadow side of you coming out with the Queen of Pentacles, unless, of course, that's not you and that's someone else in between you and this person. She came out at the bottom of the clarification deck, too. Wow. She wants all the money. Okay. So with the Seven of Swords, Libra, tricky, tricky. I do notice she's looking over her shoulder right at the Queen of Pentacles. So this is how you see yourself. You see yourself as needing to be strategic. You see yourself as needing to act upon your own behalf. Although he does look very pleased with himself, like he just raided the cookie jar and nobody knows. But I do know that this is coming from a place of anxiety for you, Libra, because you're the Eight of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. All right, I get it. You're an air sign. All the swords. <laughs> Isn't it fun? the stress. So you are thinking about the future, but I think you feel anxious, worried. You feel like you can't be your real self. You feel like you have to be strategic and act upon your own behalf. And there's some stuff that you're worried about. You are worried about being trapped, nervous about something here. Like, I'm really hoping I can pull this off. I hope this comes together. I'm not getting a lot of support. I, I, watch out for imagining worst case scenarios. Don't cheat yourself. Don't kid yourself. But some of you may feel like you need to lie in a situation this week. Seven of Swords doesn't always mean lying, though. I, I almost feel like you think you might be getting away with something because you are grinning, but you're still nervous. And the way you're feeling is the Three of Pentacles. You definitely want to be recognized and rewarded for what you bring to the table. This is a cooperative energy. And clarifying this is the High Priestess, the Empress, and the Ace of Cups. You're trusting your intuition at this time. You think that you are on to something really good here. I'm also hearing that for some of you, this may be work-related. I'm hearing that someone may get a job in a retail setting it may be an upscale consignment shop, a coffee shop, a China distributor. They even sell fine China anymore in its own little place, department store. This could be about work, but it, it's like Venus energy, selling things or working with things that you really, really love. I'm hearing you'll love it. You'll absolutely love it. But if this is just straight up about relationship, you're like, yes, please jump through my hoop. Here I am with my giant cup of love. Ironically, here's the uh, Piscean fishies. So this, there is a lot of idealism here. Someone has very pretty brown eyes too. A lot of idealism here. You think you're going in a good direction in the beginning of August. You're feeling good about that. New beginning here, love, creativity, grounded, nurturing. The Empress is bougie and is getting a lot, a lot of abundance. But you are anxious. And the, the way your, your action is the star, you have a lot of hope. You're feeling a fee, uh, like freedom, renewal. You want to free yourself from something. You're hoping, you're wishing on a star. I do think you're praying. I think this is about praying because clarifying the star, some of you are just dealing with an Aquarius or you have aqua somewhere, maybe in a big planet, is the five of cups, the two of cups, and the ten of cups. I'm not reading the five of cups right now as like a regret. It's more like you are praying that things go the way you want. And hoping for a healing and a renewal that will bring you maybe closer to family, to children, that all of that goes okay. You're wishing, hoping, praying. I feel like you and this person, because you have the two of cups over here and they're the two of cups here. Regardless of what happens in this relationship, at least the two of you can communicate and there is cooperation to a degree. I do think you feel like you need to keep some things to yourself and there is anxiety. 
Some of you are worried about family and how things are going to go down in family dynamics. Others of you are just praying for happily ever after. Who doesn't? Calm, stability, happiness, maybe having children, abundance. There is anxiety. I am going to do an extended, by the way, because I do want to get to the bottom of how you can clear up your anxiety. And I definitely want to know what's going on with what's her face here. For sure. The person around you, they are the nine of cups. Okay. That's an instant gratification. We do not feel this way all day, every day on planet Earth. We're not meant to. That's like, I just won the lottery, yo. But underneath this is the tower, the page of cups, and the six of wands. This person feels like they just got some kind of a win. Like, and it's very sudden. Very sudden here. If you've communicated anything with them about what you hope, maybe you're telling them how you really feel with the Ace of Cups and like you'll reveal to them what it is you really want. Um, this makes them very happy to hear. They liked hearing that. They liked hearing that you want to get married and have children or even though you're all worried about it. They're happy to hear this. This makes them feel very good about themselves. They may just in general be getting some good news that makes them feel rather proud. That's, I got the girl, I got the guy, I got the job. Uh-huh. And it's like, kaboom. Yeah, I'm feeling that this is a good thing for this person. It's making them happy. The way they're feeling with the Knight of Wands, which is super excited. Normally, this Knight of Wands looks a little nervous to me. This guy almost looks like, I don't want to say Joan of Arc, but suddenly very hopeful. I'm hearing that this person has a message that they want to deliver very quickly. This person, this Knight of Wands feels like a messenger to me. They're raring to go. Clarifying this is the world, the star, and justice. Good Lord. Major Arcana much? This person may travel, relocate, um, their dreams are coming true, justice is being served for them. I'm going to, this is a lot of freedom, the ability to roam free, break free. Something good is happening for this person. And I think that I'm hearing that for a few of you, this is you and this is just for some of you. This is you and an ex. And it's like you're finally working out the way things are going to go moving forward after your breakup. And that's really, really cool if you guys have children and you're like, I'm going in this direction, he's going in this direction or she, and it's really great and all that. And um, maybe some of you have started a new relationship with a Pisces or another Libra or a Taurus, and he's okay with all that. Um, that's just for some of you. Others of you, the two of you are coming together in some way. Of course, this could be anyone in your life. With the fire sign energy, this could even be one of your kids, okay? Because knights are young, teenagers and young adults. One of your kids just might get have gotten accepted into an amazing university or gotten a great job, or maybe they're free of something and justice is served. Like, it's all good. This is all good. And this person's action towards you is the two of cups. They want to talk to you about something. Clarifying this is the ace of pentacles, the four of wands, and the emperor. Who? Okay. If you and this person are coming together, it looks really beautiful. I love, can we have a moment of silence for Libra? It's usually insanity and drama with you guys. No offense. I get it. But like, this is beautiful for you. This is like a new job, a home. This person's feeling very in charge. And furthermore, I have the emperor and the empress. Well done. Working together. You, you both have your shit together this week. Big time. This is really good. This is really good for this person and for you. They want to talk to you about this. But... Again, the issue is two cards came out, the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Now, this person, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or they have something in that, that, that placement in their chart. With the Two of Pentacles, it's like, what do I do here? I clarified it, and I have the Seven of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Hangman. Pisces, with the Hangman. This may be like an ex-wife 
um, that he doesn't know, like he may owe her alimony or child support or um, how am I going to balance this could, some of you are like working mothers too, career women. And you're like, I don't know what, oh my God, no, this is overwhelming. I don't, it's like someone feels defensive about, this may be someone that expects to be taken care of or other people expect someone to take care of here. It will cost something and someone feels stuck in this scenario. And I, I mean, I clarified her. So for those of you that you have earth in your chart, in particular, if you have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Black Moon, Lilith, Chiron placement or South node, you got to stop with this outdated thing that makes you think that you have to like nurture and take care of everyone. You won't be able to do that for that much longer. You may also have someone around you that expects that. Don't get yourself triggered by that and obligated. Conversely, this person may need to stop being triggered and obligated by this person, but th this is a situation that's uncomfortable and a sacrifice needs to be made moving forward. And I can't tell if she's saying, no, I don't want anything or this person feels like they have to, they're obligated to her in some way. But the final outcome is the Ten of Wands. So it is overwhelming to an extent, almost finish with something. And clarifying this is the Chariot, the Three of Cups, and the Sun. This looks like moving, relocating. Like the end of this cycle is bringing in forward motion, happiness, spending time together and having fun, and the Sun. Are you guys trying to figure out how to go on vacation and have this person taken care of or needing to pay someone to house it or something or maybe needing to bring her? It might be one of those like, let's all take a vacation together kind of weird things or there's a relocation potentially happening, but we're not sure what to do with her. Because here she is at the bottom of the deck again with the money, the abundance. Someone wants to work this out. But there is like you're at a crossroads about the abundance and the stability. I'm dying to know who she is. So that's where the two of you are right now. Like I think that you and another person are really coming together, but the challenge is dealing with the earth energy and equal give and take and making practical choices and feeling a bit threatened and overwhelmed with the seven of wands. And like there's a, someone's in a, a bit of a juxtaposition here with the queen of pentacles. So if you feel like you need the extended, the link to that will be at the top of the description below, but there's good energy over here, good energy over here, regardless of your relationship, the two of you look like you can communicate and cooperate and everything's going good in everybody's life. But if you want to know like what's going on here with the queen of pentacles, the link to the Excited reading will be in the description below. Link to the website for private readings is a little bit further down. But this is good. This is beautiful. Just watch out. There's people watching. Okay, there could be this fire sign involved watching. And there is kind of a gold digger energy around. So we might be able to get to the bottom of the deck. deck. Uh, bottom of that through my other decks. Don't overthink it too much this week, Libra. Just... Don't try to control anything. Do you and let this person do them. And this cycle will finish and you'll get to this ace of cups and the star. Okay, Libra, I'm always listening to the universe for you. Take care. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.